Moving on, venture capital firm Vertex Ventures has raised $541 million in its fifth fund. It had initially targeted $450 million for the fifth fund and is now 80% larger than its fourth fund, which it raised in 2019. Vertex Venture invests in high-growth startups seeking their early round of institutional venture capital funding in Southeast Asia and India. Vertex India portfolio includes Alicious, Cuckoo FM, Kisht, Ace Turtle, Kapiva, Beepkart, Serta, Z, and IU Health. Joining us now to discuss this further is Ben Matthias, the managing partner at Vertex Ventures Southeast Asia and India. Ben, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. You've launched your latest fund and you've got investors from across Asia and Europe. So some of the new partners include Japan Investment Corporation, International Finance Corporation, uh, just to name a few. So talk to us about what investors' appetite is for Indian startup and what's looking exciting to them. Uh, thank you so much for having me on the show. Uh, yes, we're very happy that we were able to raise this fund in less than a year. And uh, not only did our existing investors come back, and quite a few of them took up their investment amounts, but we were also able to attract a lot of new investors, and you mentioned some of the names. Uh, yes, the India is a big attraction for global investors. India is, of course, the fastest growing large economy in the world. <laughs> the consumer spending is increasing. So we were able to successfully articulate the India story and our investors like the story. And it's not just India, it's also other Southeast Asian economies that are following uh, similar growth paths as, as India. And right. we're very happy that we were able to attract all this uh, uh, all this venture investment into our fund. Absolutely. And you plan to continue your strategy of investing in early stage technology and technology enabled companies. What makes you upbeat about these startups and which area do you see most of the opportunity lie in? Do you not plan to look at other sectors in the future? Well, we uh, we are an early stage investor, so we will invest at the Series A or, or slightly earlier than that or slightly later than that. Right. And the sectors that we're most excited about, of course, uh, consumer is the, a big sector that we we have focused on and we will continue to focus on. And this is an obvious area to invest in in these emerging economies. But in addition to that, we also invest in enterprise. India, as you know, is has one of the largest pools of software developers in the world, and they're able to build successful companies that are attracting the attention of global acquirers. For example, we had a company called uh, called Reco that we were able to sell to Stripe at, in 18 months, and it was right. a fairly young company. The third sector that we will invest in is fintech, and uh, there's been a lot of talk lately in India about uh, the the all the fintech innovation that's happening in India. We have some very successful investments in companies like Kisht, which is a digital lender, app-based digital lender. We're right. also investors in Signzy, which is uh, a fintech infrastructure player. And then the fourth sector that we are very active in is digital health. An example of an investment there is IU Health, yeah. which is providing the technology platform for about 100 hospitals across the country and growing. And then beyond this, we are looking at sustainability and we're looking at mobility. And there will be new sectors that continue to come. Right. Up. Absolutely. So since you've told us about the sectors that you like, any of the companies that you've identified to invest in uh, through this fund, what will the ticket size of these investments be? So uh, can you tell us about that? Well, our typical investment is anywhere between two to eight million for the first check. And we, we, we tend to double down on our best performing companies. So we could go up to 25, 30 million even for our best companies. Uh, we have made our first investment from Fund 5 that was announced last week, a company called Serta, which is a SaaS-based platform that manages risk and compliance for for uh, an enterprise's vendors. Companies right. doing very well. That was a Series B investment. We have uh, two term sheets uh, that are in play right now, and we hope we can uh, finish these investments. And we also made an investment in Indonesia, which is companies in, in stealth mode, so we can't talk about it. All right. So we will continue investing not just in India, but also in Indonesia and Singapore, Malaysia, uh, Vietnam, Thailand, and also Japan. Absolutely. And if you could quickly tell us now, the VC firm said that within its fund corpus, there's a designated co-investment fund of $50 million specifically allocated for uh, women-led startups, right? So talk to us about this move. And uh, are you going to, it, would you be open to investing more if you found even more interesting women-led uh, startups? Yeah, so our, typical, our investment decisions are gender agnostic. What that means right. is we look for investments where we believe we can make the best return. Now, as it turned out, 35% of the investments that we made in the, our last fund have at least one woman founder. And when our LPs came for our last uh, AGM, they, they realized this. And some of our LPs came to us and said, we have capital that we've allocated just to invest behind women founders. Would you be willing to take that money and uh, deploy it for us? 
So we agreed to take that only on condition that it's a co-investment envelope. So what that means is that the investment decision still gets made by the main fund, and this is agnostic of the gender. It's based on what returns we can we can get. But if we make an investment in a company that is that has at least one woman founder, then this $50 million corpus automatically co-invests in a fixed ratio. So what that means is that for the women-led companies, there's more capital to deploy. All right, so more capital for the women-led companies there. All right, Ben, thank you so much for joining us on the show today, and we wish you all the best for your fun going forward. Thank you very much. Well, may the tribe of women-led